years old, and he's uh, my dog. He's a little bit anxious around my guitar for some reason. But uh, as we're staying at home, hopefully you're enjoying uh, lots of good children's picture books and music and time with family and friends. Well, maybe not with friends because we're all separated from, uh, from each other. But uh, thank you for uh, being a part of today. Okay, Moo Crew, let's get to drawing. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get some guidelines down. Drawing is all about shapes. We're gonna have Beaker looking directly at us. And so you kind of get a few guidelines down and this is gonna kind of get some placement for where his eyes are gonna go. And this is the technique I use to draw all my cows. So no matter what cow you wanna draw today, if you have my book or you can see online, what my cows look like and what they, they're colored like. And now whenever I draw this shape, what's it look like? It looks like a dog bone, I think of my dog Earl. And so that kind of gives us that. And then Beaker's ears, we'll put right here off the side of his face. That's where the ears are gonna go. Now this is just a rough little sketch. And then his horns. Now you might have pen or pencil or crayon, you know, whatever you might be using. You can just do some light sketches. It's best to do these guidelines in pencil because then later on you can erase them. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to bring down what is called the opacity because we just need these lines just barely to see. It gives us a little bit of guidelines. And then we're going to jump over to our ink layer. Use some black ink. And now we can go in and Draw a beaker. To our dog bone first, which is our nose. A couple circles in here or ovals in here for beaker's nostrils. Then you go up here and draw beaker's eyebrows. Now my first book, The Cows Go Moo, I used all traditional pen and ink. My next book, The Cows Go Moose Shuffle, which I'm working on right now, I'm using my iPad to do all the drawing with. Here's some more ovals. We're gonna color these in. Now with here, I can just drop the color right in there, but you can use your marker or your pencil. You can drop the color in there. We're gonna drop the color in here for Beaker's nostrils. See how that works? Now let's connect the eyes to the nose. Bring a couple lines right down here. All right. Now let's put a smile on Beaker. We're gonna put his mouth open a little bit because why? Because of course he's mooing. Because the cows go moo, right? Here's his tongue. Then we're gonna darken that in. I'm gonna make this a little look a little bit nicer. You know, with, the, with this, I can just use the eraser. Pop that in there. Okay, now let's go to Beaker's ears. Draw a couple shapes here for the ears. Now, when I'm drawing from my book, I'm usually going a little bit slower so that we can kind of keep this moving along. Moving along. We're gonna put Beaker's face in here. Oh, I didn't like that shape too much. So I'm gonna erase that. Kind of want to make it loop down like that. Like that. If you make a mistake, like I said, you can just use your eraser. There's really no mistakes in drawing. You just kind of have fun with it and put some shoulders on Beaker. Now we're gonna draw our, a cowbell on Beaker here in a little bit. So we got plenty of space to do that. Let's draw some horns. Horn kind of looks like a half a banana. Right? Why do cows why do cows wear bells anyway? Because their horns don't work. <laughs> Honk, honk. So let's draw our Beaker's cowbell. So you gotta have more cowbell. 
I don't have too much room here, but you know what I can do is I can make him a little bit smaller on here. So we have more room for the cowbell and we can actually get rid of our guidelines now because we've, we've used all the, where the guidelines are going. And we can go back to drawing our cowbell. Now one thing about drawing is you always want to figure out where the sun is shining from or where the light is shining from. Today we're going to have the, the sun coming from this direction, our light source. So that means whenever we're drawing, we're going to have our shadows, see, our shadows on this side of the bell and our shadows on this side of Beaker's face, all right? Now Beaker's kind of looking a little, he's looking a little, not, he doesn't look too happy. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some, some white to his eyes. And this is kind of what makes a cow, this is what makes our animation drawings, our cartoons come alive. See that? And we're going to put a nice smile on Beaker. So you can like, put a couple lines coming up. This is how I do it coming up out of the side of his mouth here. Oh, let me try that again. All right. Now, Beaker, he plays the drums. When he's playing the drums, his hair kind of gets all spiky. And so we're gonna draw some spiky hair. And all my cows have different types of hair. I tried to make them all a big diverse group of cows, different types of cows, Highland cows, Angus cows, and, and uh, you know, so this cow, like I said, is how I draw all my cows. And, you know, Holly cow, she's a purple cow and she's got dreadlocks and things. But this is Beaker, and he's got some spiky hair. Kind of like me. <laughs> My hair's getting long, you know, because I've been staying at home and you know, can't get to the barbers. And I hope you guys have been having fun while you've been at home. Maybe you've been reading or uh, doing drawing like we are here today. And so this is Beaker. We're not gonna we're not gonna color in all his spots, but we can color in a few spots here. You know, you just kind of throw some spots on there. Let's see if I can drop the color right in here for his spots. There we go. All right. And that's how you draw a beaker, everyone. Hope you had fun and you're in, enjoying uh, the Cows Go Moo. And if you want to learn more or download some coloring pages, you can go to my website, thecowsgomoo.com, and there's cow jokes and all kinds of fun fun cow stuff you can, you can, you can do. All right. I can put a little line right here for Beaker's nose, and we are pretty much done. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you. Moo ya.